Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm giving you 50% off. Oh, okay. All right. So you fill up your little basket. All right, I'll, I'll try. Okay. So a little background here, guys. This opened around the spring, summer of last year. This is only my third time ever doing a video at this store. I do really like it. It kind of has a boutique style feel to it. It is a small little independent one. And so their charitable mission basically is providing care packages to children in need. So clothes, shoes, books, safety equipment, hygiene items such as diapers in our local area. So I think that's pretty awesome. So my first find of the day was this pop. Hogwarts Express engine and it has Harry Potter in it and I'm gonna pay $25 for it. I never find these big pops so I'll probably sell it for about 75 to 80 because of the box condition there's a touch rough. I did find this Krusty Clown TV here looking into Terapeak to see what the offer accepted on this was was 40 plus ship. I'm gonna pay five. You must be a collector, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like all the uh, toys and stuff. This guy is pretty cool. Yeah. Simpsons TV. We generally look things up and try to come up with a decent price, you know. Yeah. And like right now, everything's 50% Half off. off, you can't complain, yeah. right? Right. Yeah, you guys put a lot of work into it, you can tell. Yeah, it does a lot of work. Oh, yeah. And we have to shut down after today because... What? The inventory was not correct with the auditor. Oh. And it's... so now, and we just shut down for two weeks after that to count everything. We yeah. Count everything. Now we have to shut down because we have to put skews on everything. When are you guys going to be able to reopen? Well, depends on how fast we can get it. How fast you can get it done, yeah. right? You yeah. Know, we're all volunteers. Right, of course. So I found this speak and spell here, and what they were asking typically I couldn't pay. However, I think they had 25 on it, so I'm paying half of that. It does work. This one actually comes with two additional cartridges and workbooks, and that really drives up the value on these, hence why I'm willing to purchase it. So I moved downstairs. Again, this kind of store typically I wouldn't be able to buy a ton at because a lot of it is priced a little bit high for my purposes. However, the fact that they're going half off I still have to be very picky and selective. However, I'm able to make some pretty awesome finds. Uh, this included right here, guys. So typically the rule is I don't buy Star Wars sequel stuff. However, this is the Nerf Stormtrooper gun from The Force Awakens. It's the whole like first order deal, whatever. But once you open the package, you don't even know it's for first order or Empire, right? And I should get about 120 shipped for it. Outstanding, I'm paying 25 for that. This Schlage, I think is just a hall and closet. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like a digital keypad or a smart lock. Moving around here, I find something pretty interesting, different than something I normally purchase, and it's martial arts gear. So this stuff really is all over the place. I'm hoping because of how intricate the sets are to get about 60 a piece, I'm paying $4 each. I did grab this Build-A-Bear Harley Davidson. Can I just leave this up here somewhere? Yeah. Uh, I've got to get starting a pile of stuff here. Yeehaw! All right, I grabbed my second cart and get back to it. I did look at this Thule, I probably am not pronouncing that right, Chariot Jogging Kit 2 here, and I probably should have got it. There were a couple comps all over the place. I would have paid 15. It would have been a decent ship though, but honestly, probably not that bad. I head on to this back corner again, and yeah, I saw the coffee, the giant coffee cylinder there. And it was only 55 cup. The 100 cups are really what you're looking for. But I did find this muffin and egg toaster, which I found pretty interesting. And should get about $68, $69, 70 shipped for it, something like that. I do open up the box to verify the contents, and it is in there. In pretty good condition, too, so I'm pretty confident that it will work. 
And then I hadn't noticed this the first time. So this is like an Ivan Stewart trophy truck TRD deal. It's a die cast. And this guy with the box and everything's worth 200 plus ship all day long. So super stoked about this. Originally they had it priced at 100, then they put a $50 price sticker over it. And then I'm getting it for half off. So I'll be paying $25 for this today. Outstanding find, super stoked about this. That doll next to it is a Shasha doll. And those are actually quite uncommon. I looked at some comps in person and honestly, I decided against it. When I went back on the computer, I was like, man, that probably would have been an okay purchase at $50. Um, I would have had to make, just kind of put out a number out there and see if it would work. But it is what it is. I did not end up picking it up. I do end up buying those two Model A cars, probably about 25 a piece shipped on those for, I think they had it marked at $10, so I paid five. But yeah, here you can see like the Shasha dolls only had a couple international ships. And so I don't know, I was on the fence. I probably should have grabbed it. I did not grab the Mark McGuire there, the starting light up. But this V-Smile joystick sells for $30 new and it's only a dollar here. Mm -hmm. Are you a Bengal fan? Uh, just looking. Oh, no, like, <laughs> I think we, I, I think we all are right now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, the Bengals win. Okay, we there won't be anybody working the next day. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Nobody could ever love a cat the way they love a dog. I'm just saying. Let's put it in. Oh! Okay, that came out of nowhere. Start with white tag. I don't know. Turn the car. So you have a shot or you sell online? Online. Okay. One, two. What through? Yeah. Uh, what eBay through? primarily, eBay? yeah. How's that work for you, like shipping and stuff like that? Um, I mean, it's we have like probably like 30 different boxes that we buy in bulk. Okay. So we usually get the right box for the right item, or at least uh -huh. try to. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you charge shipping in for it too, or do um, you, you... We mainly do free shipping, but really you just bake the shipping into the price. So, right. like, you know, so if it's, it's looks, yeah, yeah, exactly. people like free shipping, and right. yeah. yeah. You gotta so do what you gotta do to entice people, right? Yeah. How about the pizza slips? I've been doing this. So um, I just started back about a year and a half ago, but like mm -hmm. back in like the early 2010s, which. Yeah, it was, seems like forever ago now. Yeah, you look old. You're aged. Oh, yeah. yeah. You look old. I have a white trash bag. If no, you want. I'm teasing. You well, it says no back in ten, yeah. like it's been a long back time. Like, yeah. And we were <laughs> considered old then. Right? No. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, the total's one twenty nine. All right. Well, hopefully, I managed to put a dent in some of the uh, inventory for yes, you guys that, that you have to do. Us. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be closed for. A while while we get yeah thank you sir yeah good thank luck you. To you yeah <laughs> good luck getting through all that i yeah. i know what it's like having yeah. the spreadsheets and uh, all that fun stuff yeah i can carry something to the door uh i think i have it okay. all right cool it. yeah thank you. thank you very much thank you you're very welcome you have a good one thank you All right, guys, I think that went really well for a single thrift store stop. I was able to find a lot of amazing items for pretty reasonable prices. So I'm very happy with how today worked out. And it's definitely not something you can just keep repeating at that kind of store. It's more of a stop in every now and then and see if they've added some things. And the price points, you got to be really picky when they're looking stuff up. I don't blame them. Let them, you know, that's their prerogative or whatever it's just for my purposes i have to be careful so in this video you might have seen me with my phone out more than normal well if they're researching i need to research too just to make sure that there's enough room for me to be able to buy something and potentially sit on it for months before i even sell it 
So yeah, but really happy. Uh, they seem really awesome and they're really happy with everything I got. I was just uh, happy to be able to, to help them out, actually. I mean, if anything, you know, it's inventory. They no longer have to worry about skewing and it takes a little bit of uh, work off of them. So glad that it was mutually beneficial. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here with the numbers. I've got my notebook here. And so we have a total list price and this is an estimate everything's an estimate here and it's not including some expenses that i can't account for like returns or something it's really hard to forecast that so i've got a total list of 859.43 and we'll have ebay fees of 111 dollars and 73 cents my estimated cost to ship everything out will be 160 dollars and our cost of goods sold $129, leaving a total net $458.70, which is outstanding. Super stoked to be able to pull that off in one thrift store run. And once we fulfill all these orders, that should be roughly what I'll be looking at making. Sometimes uh, it's a little bit higher, sometimes it's a little bit lower, and it really just depends. We might get a little bit more for an item than I initially thought or we might take an offer five or 10% off. So it really just depends. But I wanna thank all of you for watching today. Really do appreciate it. Please subscribe and hit the like button on the way out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.